Hello there guys, my name is Coast the Charlie YouTube channel Donksterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update. This is from Futuroscope. Now this is an update where in case the park have released testing footage for their brand new roller coaster, Objective Mars. Now of course all the theme parks are pretty much closed behind closed doors. Uh, because of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, Japan and Asia have started opening up their parks a bit more now. Uh, they've gone through the worst of it. But countries like us, America, we're still going through the worst of it. But behind closed doors at the French theme park Futuroscope, we found testing footage officially from the park to show off their brand new roller coaster. Now before we get started, please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and theories and comments and opinions, please like the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, please share with your friends, your family, social media, and make sure guys you use the hashtag question before or after your question in the comments down below to put in some Q&A questions for our next Q&A session when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers, that is how close we're getting. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So, this is all about Objective Mars. Now, if you are the general public and you're not enthusiastic and you have no idea about this roller coaster, well, let me tell you about the story. So, this is an Intamin spinning coaster. This is set to open this year uh, in 2020. So, while the testing footage is on your screen, let's talk about the coaster. So, this replaces... Pavilion Desolido. So this was the first attraction that combines Omnimax technology, which is an IMAX dome process, with a 3D dual projection. So basically the Pavilion Desolido uh, was built on the site of what it will be the coaster. Uh, and in 2017, the uh, dome for Pavilion Desolido was demolished. Uh, so the actual attraction has been operating since 1993 all the way up to 2017 and then of course the teasing began for a brand new roller coaster set to open in 2020. So this project's been in the work for a few years. Uh, so like I said this is an Intamin spinning coaster with a length of 1640.4 feet, a speed of 34.2 miles per hour, a duration of 2 minutes 50 and contains a vertical drop track tie propelled launch, a rolling version, a tie propelled boost and a dark slash show section. It's French for Destination Mars, featuring both indoor and outdoor sections, capacity of 1000 riders per hour and a combined cost of 22 million euros for the coaster and for the building of the indoor sections. Now you saw some testing footage on your screen, massive shout out to Futuroscope for that testing footage, officially from the park themselves, I got in contact with the park, uh, they sent over me a link uh, for a press package about the ride as well, it's in French so I have to you know, translate it uh, so I can read it properly, however um, I definitely think that it was nice of them to send the press package over to me and it was also nice to give the permission to use the test footage on this news update. So big shout out to Futuroscope, really nice people. Uh, so yeah, Mission Kepler was the code name and of course Objective Mars is the official name, Destination Mars in English of course. Uh, now of course, you guys are probably thinking, people who you know, aren't coaster enthusiasts and finding out about this coaster for the very first time, they're probably thinking, what are my thoughts about this coaster? I love it. I mean, you know, you saw the testing footage, you saw other concept arts on your screen um, while we we're reading out the rest of that information. And, you know, from those concepts, from the testing footage, I think this is going to be a fantastic roller coaster experience. Obviously, the concept art for some, one of the indoor scenes was in there as well. So it was very clear what they were trying to accomplish, both indoor and outdoor wise, with the coaster's layout and the, the whole off ride and on ride experience of the coaster. So I think it was very important to get a balance of on and off ride experiences. So I th definitely think uh, that they've nailed the hip, they've nailed the nail on the head. They've really nailed the he he nail on the head. I can't say that sentence. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely think this is going to be a great project. I'm not going to lie. I think this is going to have um, a fantastic future at Futuroscope. I think Futuroscope, in my opinion, is now transitioning into more, more widespread theme park attractions. And I do believe that uh, there's going to be plenty more where that came from. Plenty more. And I think that 
the park is really going to come on now and they're really going to invest in more attractions in the future. Obviously, you know, the park is mainly, you know, it's a fu future park, futuroscope. It's a futuristic park. It's got uh, cinemas, it's got screen projected experiences, it's got 4D, 3D, it's got any kind of walkthrough technological experience you can handle, right? So for an Intamin spinning coaster with indoor and outdoor sections and a drop track, I mean the technology is endless in this. And the fact they're using technology to, to show this journey, this space journey, I think is a very clever way of doing it. And I think Futuroscope have really done an amazing job with this experience. Now, if you are families or ch ch children or teens watching or adults watching this for the first time, would I recommend Futuroscope? Yes, I would. I think it's a great looking park. I haven't done the park personally, but the reason why I recommend it is because it's a very it's very different to your usual theme park. It's very te technology based and it's very it uses screens, projections, 3D, 4D, any kind of technology you can think of. It uses technology to indulge riders into the experiences, into every experiences. And also, if you've got a rate uh, I think it's called Raging or Raving Rabbits fan uh, from that old Nintendo Wii game, uh, Raving Rabbits. They'll love this part because there is a Raving Rabbits attraction. <laughs> uh, but there's there's other fantastic attractions in the park as well. There's other brilliant attractions in the park, and Objective Mars will be a good one. I'm not going to lie; it's sad to lose Pavilion de Salido because it is such a legendary attraction. It's the first. It's the first attraction. To use a combination of 3D dual projection and Omnimax technology through IMAX dome um, production. So I really feel like we're losing such an iconic attraction in the world of technology, not just in the world of attractions. However, I think this is a great replacement for the attraction. I think, if anything, I think this is the perfect replacement for such a legendary, iconic attraction in the world of technology. And I think this brings technology into a brand new age on this site. So I really love what Futuroscope's doing with Objective Mars. Like I said, it's sad to lose Pavilion de Salido, rest in peace, 1993 to 2017. But I do believe that they're bringing in the right replacement. And I think going forward, I think more new roller coasters could come to Futuroscope in the near future. So thank you very much guys for watching this theme park newsroom update on Objective Mars testing footage at Futuroscope. Uh, we've got plenty more news updates to come. The early prediction videos. You've been, I, I, I'm pretty sure behind the screens you've been calling for them since we did them last year. They're coming. They are coming uh, in a couple of days time. Uh, I'm pre-recording all three of them. The Six Flags, the Cedar Fair and the Million Entertainment ones. So they'll all be coming. Uh, and you get to enjoy them as well. So uh, I hope you guys are really excited for them. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom update. Please give it a like. Please comment below. Please give a subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child YouTube channel. Keep living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.